Welcome to Digital Asset News, take your top stories in cryptocurrency and digital assets, and bring down to bite-sized pieces. So today, we're doing a little bit something different. Finally, we get another uh, episode of Trinity Trading. And as always, uh, we have uh, two of the best with us, CJ Reichel from Market Rebellion, who will be doing our TA. Welcome, CJ. Thanks for stopping by again. And then we've got Alex Massioli, head over there over at Trade the Chain with a nice new fancy logo in the bottom left-hand corner. I don't know what that is, but uh, it looks really slick. And he's going to be doing our sentiment analysis. And along for the ride is me to do a little fundamentals. So, gentlemen, let's find a top coin that we can give everybody and uh, take a look at. And they can do their own research. Uh, just as a disclaimer, this is for uh, educational purposes only or entertainment purposes only, not financial advice. Do your own research. Let's take a look at what we got. So, who wants to start us off? All right. I'll take it away. Um, <laughs> so it's uh, interesting market times today. Uh, you know, we're, we're seeing a, a better day than we have most of the previous week, which is good. Um, and, you know, if I go to the one hour projection, which is normally where I start to start reading off sentiment and analyzing what I'm looking for, I take the one hour projection, I toggle to the top and... Ah, look at Mithril. Mithril at the top of the charts right now for the hour projection. I have no idea what that is. <laughs> I don't know. I, you know what? But it's funny. I don't know any of these things. And, and this is the great thing about Trade the Chain. And if you're new to the video, I'm going to have Alex explain why Trade the Chain uh, works for sentiment analysis. CJ will get the technicals and the fundamentals. And I think it's three. You use these uh, three things, these trinity, and it becomes an almost uh, a recipe for success. Alex, tell us what Trade the Chain is and how this all works. Yeah, absolutely. So Trade the Chain, we are a sentiment uh, dashboard uh, provider. Um, so basically what we do is we have about 2000 members uh, over at Trade the Chain and we provide artificial intelligence uh, and sentiment signals. So what we do is we have two primary sort uh, ways to uh, generate alpha. One is real time, 24 hour a day sentiment that we're scraping contextually uh, off of social media and what you're looking at right now is coming in from Twitter. Um, and the way it works is we will scrape data on sentiment. Let's take Mithril at the top, for example, real quick. And we will look through those uh, in, in super high speed. We will pick them uh, we'll pick them out, the positive and the negative sentiment, and put it into a formula where we produce scores. Now, quickly, we are able to identify bots and pump and dumps, so we get rid of uh, fake sentiment. Um, and we also are contextual when we scrape it, so we do language translation, so we pick up sentiment from all over the world. Mm. Okay, awesome. And then this, all this, all this relative tweet volume. You guys have a direct uh, API, something, something. Yeah, correct. So uh, we have access to one of five uh, direct, uh, we, we like to call it fire hoses into Twitter um, uh, with Twitter's permission. So it, it's not a web hook or anything like that. It's directly coming from the source into our AI and score generations. Gotcha. So I always talk about this on my show. This is what I use at the very beginning. If you're looking at this going, that looks familiar. That's where it is. So uh, I just needed Alex to explain it because he does a better job than me since uh, he's the one that uh, co-created it. All right. So we got this one. Which one do you want to go for? Looks like Mithril, Komodo, Waves, 0x, Birdcoin, Mem, some other I'm, stuff. I'm really looking at Waves right now. So, you know, and I'll tell you why. One is the one hour projection. We're, uh, you know, we're looking at about plus eight. 8.3% uh, on the high side. The low side is about half of that, negative uh, 4.61%. But we have a, a weighted um, middle ratio of plus 1% to the high side. So I like this. I go next, I go to relative tweet volume. I, it's up 285%, which I really like. And then relative trading volume, which is up 174%. I like that because that's telling me there's market participants in the order book. So there's liquidity flowing around. From here, I go to the left. Now, long-term mm -hmm. sentiment is neutral, but I'm taking this pick for a short-term play, meaning that I'm looking at 12 to 24, possibly 36 hours. So the daily sentiment of very bullish with an 81 score is yeah. what I uh, like for affirmation so far. Go over to the uh, percentages. It's had a good run the past 30 days, 68%. 
uh, the week at 45% and the uh, day and the one hour uh, up over 2%. The 2% I really like, it's not showing me there's a lot of volatility, so I don't have to worry about my entrance price and where I'm going to hit. Um, and so I'm very comfortable with that. That is my choice for today's Trinity Trading Waves. Okay, great. So uh, watching at home. Now, it all it all starts with Alex uh, for sentiment analysis to kind of get us on the road, but it has to get through CJ technicals for us to actually do it. We've done, we've done this before, and actually some haven't gone to the technicals, and we've gone right back to Alex. So let's see what CJ has to say as far as the technicals, what it shows us. Yeah, thank you, Rob. Pleasure to be back as always. Before we get into the technicals, I just want to remind everybody and share this slide for a couple seconds that nothing said on the behalf of Market Rebellion should be considered <laughs> financial advice in our uh, Trading Trinity show. But one thing that overlaps between Trade the Chain and the technicals that we're about to discuss is volume. I use Trade the Chain sentiment dashboard every single morning to look at various trades. And what I always pay attention to is volume. You know, if we have relative trading volume up over 100%, that's always a really nice edu uh, indication that we may be in for some interesting trading. So first, I want to just break down the daily chart, um, but we will go to a, a shorter term time frame because Alex has picked this trade for a shorter term. Um, now, like I said, you get a big spike in volume coming off yesterday's candle, as well as today, we're seeing more volume. And we've broken above our previous high. So we had a previous high here on April 9th that was about $16. We're way above that now and have formed support above the $16 level. That's exactly what I like to see from a technical, technical perspective when it comes to continuation patterns. If we look at the oscillators down below right here, you can see that the stochastic is still moving upward in parallel with the two moving averages here. That means strength in the overall trend. Um, same thing with the commodity channel index, the CCI is showing us strength in this trend. Um, now I wanna go to the more shorter term time frame where things get much more interesting because this makes me uh, much more bullish, especially in the shorter term. So Rob, you mentioned how the technicals have to be aligned in order to have confirmation for the trade entry. The confirmation for me in this particular trade would be a one hour close here above the 20 period SMA. So SMA stands for simple moving average, and it is a simple moving average uh, representation of the past 20 days of price action. Or in this case, it would be just the past 20 hours. So when we have price close above that orange line, you know, it's a very simple metric, but that's a indication to me to look and take a long trade. And in addition to that, when we look at the stochastic indicator, we can see a bullish cross on the bottom and we're starting to turn upward with further bullish momentum. Very similar thing we're seeing here on the CCI below that as well. So I'll be looking for a close above 19.5 in the next hour for confirmation to go into that long. Oh, we just got it. Um, <laughs> awesome. Okay. Uh, but we have a new one there. So yeah, that would be confirmation enough for me to go and enter that on the hourly perspective. Gotcha. Okay. Stochastic, more like fantastic. All right, cool. So <laughs> that, uh, is this thing on? So anyhow, so uh, let me share my screen and then we'll go over uh, just the fundamentals to see where we're at. You better hurry up, Rob. Things are happening while we're doing this. <laughs> now, this is not good. So let's see. So as always, it is a Tuesday. Well, not as always. Today is Tuesday, April 27th. It is 1.17 p.m. That is Mountain Standard Time. And all the different trades that we do, that we do, not that you're going to do because you're the ones research, but uh, you can find that in the description uh, as on all my different uh, links that I have here. If you just scroll right down where it says there's a little arrow here, it says Trinity Trading Profits and Losses. If you click on that, this will be a spreadsheet and we'll show all the different trades that we've done and the profit and loss, the percentages, and it links to the video as proof per se. So let's just do a little fundamental action here, shall we? So I'm in CoinGecko and let's do a little waves. So waves is number 67. Okay. So first of all, let's just see where the heck can I buy this? 
All right. So exchanges, looks like if you got crypto.com, you can get it there. Uh, OKX, Whitebit, Huobi, Kraken. Okay, Cr really, Kraken, all right. Yobit, Dicky, it's like every place you can get this thing. Okay, so I'll probably get it on Kraken because I'll probably throw it 25 bucks in there because I'm a baller. And let's go to the website. Okay, so we can see what this actually is. About, okay, the power builders of decentralized solutions of tomorrow, embraces tools. Let's fall asleep. Waves community. We're building web, okay, web 3.0, next generation internet, transparent, private, and fair ecosystem by decentralized techs. I'm looking at the way Or build your own community. Oh, wow, you can build on things. Okay, go with one about Waves. I'll show you knowledge with the local community. Okay. So, what I always like to do to see why this thing is pumping, what's really going on on every website, every single website, if you go to the very bottom, it's going to have all their social media platforms. So, I'm going to click on Twitter. And it'll take me to the actual Twitter account, the official one. I probably just want to follow these guys because it looks like they could do some great things. And Interchain DeFi. Interchain DeFi. Okay. So what I'm looking for is what's going on. Why is the big thing? Where is the next big push? And what's happening? Uh, duck hunters. No. <laughs> Swoop. Here's something from nine hours ago. Uh, and Roe Cosmos, Wave Enterprise, launch a new blockchain service to protect uh, IP rights. This, the service brings together subject matter experts from Roscoe Moss, Ros, Ros Cosmos, and elsewhere providing smooth detection and violation management. Ah, Russian space agency uses blockchain to protect IP, intellectual property. This would probably be a big pump. Why wouldn't we get on that? Or at least us, not you sitting out, out there. All right, so I will definitely do this one. Looks like it's a pretty good project. I don't know the team, but I'll look at that later. Um, let's lock it in. What's the price right now? What do you got, CJ? One moment, let me pull it up. Waves versus Tether is gonna be $19.80. $19.80? Okay, it is 27th. And the call time is 13, 21, military time. I don't know what the symbol is. What's the symbol? Waves. That was simple. <laughs> it's called Waves Genius. All right. I got to tell you, some of those trades we've made, pretty darn good. Not too shabby. And the problem is, the only problem I see is we don't do these, these uh, videos enough. And we need to start doing that. But we'll do them every two weeks. I add you guys the calendar and we'll go from there. And then, um, so that's it. We'll see how this goes. We'll do a follow up uh, as soon as possible. You can always take a look at what's going on there by che checking out that, uh, that spreadsheet. But in conclusion, if you're looking to learn about TA, first of all, you can go to danteacherscrypto.com. Me and CJ did, did a couple of videos about the basics of TV, TA. You can watch some of the basic videos there, but you can join Market Rebellion, I think for only a dollar to start up. Also trade the chain. If you look down below in the description, you can click on the trade the chain. They have a 14 day trial membership. So you can check that out and see how uh, fantastic it is. But it's not just the sentiment analysis and everything else. Both of these guys have a great community, very supportive on the part of both of them. And uh, I like what I see. All right. So any uh, last words of, uh, of advice for these guys before we take off? Hang on to your handlebars. It's going to be a wild ride. Awesome. <laughs> Awesome. All right. That's it for today. CJ, Alex, thanks for joining. And uh, if you like the video, give it a thumbs up. Consider subscribing. That's it for today. See you on the next one.